UK Oil and Gas has announced a retail offer and a placing of new ordinary shares to find out what the funds will be used for and why the offer and placing are being made now. I'm delighted to be joined by the Chief Executive Stephen Sanderson. So Stephen, why the fundraise and why now? Yes, uh, thank you for uh, having this opportunity, sir. Um, why? I think I think one word probably sums it up. It's called hydrogen. Um, I think people have uh, likely seen our last three kind of major RNS about uh, the letters of support for from some pretty big uh, UK energy and hydrogen space hitters, RWE, um, SGN, and Sumitomo. And they're all, uh, they've all given us support for what's called our uh, application for government revenue support. And uh, the past government and this previous, or, and the existing, the new Labour government, I should say, are uh, very supportive of uh, hydrogen, very supportive because it can help uh, decarbonize the UK. Um, we actually had a, a meeting with uh, the Department of Energy Security and Net Zero on the 15th, and uh, they told us uh, uh, confidentially that the new ministers are actually far more clued up on the uh, on the subject than the previous one. So that that's very good, and they're... Um, they're looking um, to try and accelerate projects that help meet their 2030 uh, decarbonization of the electricity system. So, uh, why the raise? Um, well, because you know we want to put we want to put in a competitive uh, bid for uh, allocation support, and I should say that the allocation support essentially will provide the the capital funding and also cover the um, opera- fixed operating costs. Of the project, so uh, and that will likely be over fifteen years. So that that's a very big carrot. Um, we've been talking to the government now on this for about two and a half years, where our projects are very well known. Um, we're also uh, in conversations, advanced conversations, with some fairly heavy hitters about coming in as joint venture partners. So uh, what we need to do until we actually get those people on board um, is we need to have the money to accelerate all the uh, studies and engineering work and environmental work necessary for planning concern on these projects, and that all costs money. So um, in short, that's why we need it, really. You know, all these funds will go towards uh, pushing forward our application for you know, the hydrogen storage revenue support and uh, you know, if we get that, then that really, um, you know, will will put us in a in a in a front row position in the hydrogen storage space. Well, obviously, those heavy hitters have to remain anonymous. There's a huge element of confidentiality. But you use the word supportive. So, do you think that um, the retail investors will be just as supportive? I'm just wondering why the retail offer. Well, um, you know. <laughs> We, we 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 value our shareholders. Obviously, we're a, we're a listed entity, so you know we're we're we we want their support. We want them to um, invest in us because they actually believe in our story and believe in the future. So um, you know we felt it right and proper that they are offered the um, the placing you know on the placing terms, so that they're um, you know they're treated as 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 the uh, the placees as such. And therefore, Stephen, what is the future of the company? Are the funds enough to achieve your strategic objectives and help the government with its superpower ambition in the short or medium term? Well, you know, the fu- the funds will be, uh, you know, adequate for us to, uh, you know, further our um, application for the revenue support. Um, it clearly will get us to that point, um, particularly if we, you know, we bring on board... Um, you know, a, a joint venture partner, and and what we're looking for there is someone who will effectively pay the majority of the costs of uh, of what it will take to get the project to what's called a final investment decision in uh, twenty twenty six twenty seven. Which means then, once you've made that, then you um you've raised the money and you can put into place this billion pound project. So um. That's that's what we're doing it for. But, you know, each journey begins with but a single step. So 
Many thanks and a lovely way to end our conversation. Stephen Sanderson, Chief Executive of UK Oil & Gas, thank you very much indeed.